Hey everybody, it's Rico Suave, and today I want to talk about water. If you saw my earlier video, you saw that I talked about water quality, how I filter my water, how to test for water quality. We talked a little bit about the history of EPA water standards. Today, though, I want to talk about water conservation. And no, I'm not here to give a long spiel or lesson on the morality of conserving water, saving water. The average American uses about 100 gallons of water every single day. Now living in an RV and with my overall goal of being prepared and self-sufficient, I use way, 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 way less than that. So for me, I'm not here to lecture anybody on saving water, or wasting water, because when it really comes down to it, there's only one or two options. Either you actually care and you're going to conserve water, or you don't care and you're going to waste water. So with that in mind, I'm here more or less just to talk about everyday realities of being in an RV. And for those of us that like to travel in an RV, one of those realizations is boondocking, if you choose to do so. Now with boondocking, that pretty much means that you're not connected to the grid at all. You're not connected to anything. You use what you have, what you're able to generate, what you're able to make, what you're able to take with you. So with that, you have in every RV, you have tanks, holding tanks. Holding tanks contain a certain amount of water. So with that, being able to conserve water in those situations are extremely, extremely important. And that's something that I definitely am very interested in and do my best to make the most with what I have. So basically taking that limited amount, um, limited amount of water and making it last as long as I can. One of the ways I can do that is with faucet aerators. Now this aerator is what you're going to commonly see come standard in an RV. Now, I hardly consider this an aerator. I mean, if we take a look at it, it's pretty much a plastic piece right here with a thin piece of metal inside of it. That's really all, all it is. And then you take another plastic piece, you put it on top, put the little stopper on, just like that. And that is really, that's really it. That is what your faucet is in a standard all-stock RV. With that comes this implication when I'm running the water normal this will about well this will flow at about 2.5 gallons a minute which you know to me it's that's a lot of water a minute especially if I can keep the water pressure the same but use less water because that's the most important part in my mind of the aerator is to give me more water pressure using less water simple fixed Home Depot for a couple bucks you can get mm -hmm. a faucet aerator as you can see there's a metal piece right there it's a metal piece right there and there's more metal pieces inside and you can see the actual aerator right there what I like about this is I can control the flow I can go from a half gallon a minute spray to a two and a half gallon minute flow just by either applying pressure in or out basically opening it up or closing it so I find these very, very useful. They're easy to use. Essentially, you uh, just screw it on. So I'm going to demonstrate this and show you, show it to you real time, show you the difference between the two, and kind of just give you a general brief on why aerators are very important, especially if you're somebody that is looking to conserve water and basically make the most out of the resources you have. For me, that's really what it comes down to. It's not about should I waste or should, should I not waste. Is if I'm going to have something, why not use it to the full potential, whether that's me or my equipment. So let's do this test in real time. Stay with me. So here we go for the test. We have our two faucet aerators. We're going to start with the one on the right here, the one that actually came with the RV. So we're just going to screw this on here right quick. There we go. As you can see, it'll free float about two and a half gallons a minute. Has pretty decent water pressure, not too bad. So we're gonna unscrew that. And now we're gonna try the one that I got from Home Depot right here. Screw that one on right quick. As you can see, it has a half a gallon spray, which is really good water pressure. Then it has a two and a half gallon 
free flow, which also has good water pressure, both of which I feel have more water pressure than this one right here. So as you can see, it has the half gallon spray with the 2.5 gallon free flow. Really great water pressure on that. So there you have it. The test really speaks for itself. I really like the fact that I can increase the water pressure of my system, use less water, and the ability to be able to switch back and forth between flow rates. I think that's really great. It's really good. So I can adjust the water flow for the job, which I think is definitely paramount. So I think this is a really good, viable option for many of us, especially those of us that live in RVs. Um, and for those of us that don't live in RVs, just those of us that are interested in conserving water and doing more with less, definitely highly recommend getting a look or at least looking into getting faucet aerators and looking at those ways to conserve and be more economical. Especially for me, like I said before, my job and overall goal is preparedness. So it's like anything, it's like electricity, it's like anything else that, that, that I have. Being able to use less means that's less power I have to generate, that's less water I have to, I have to acquire, that's less water I need. So it's like anything else. If I can do the job more economically by buying a simple two to three dollar part, it's more than it's more than worth the investment. So hope you guys like the video. As always, long live the Republic.